exclusive why federal government is keeping Inam De Kano despite court ruling Malami. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time of day we may be reaching you. Thank you for joining us once again on the channel that brings you nothing but authentic and verified news happenings around the country. If you're joining us for the very first time, we'd like to say a very big welcome to you. Please do well to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Now to all of our existing viewers, we'd like to say thank you for your support so far. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our post as they come your way. Thank you very much and God bless you. Well, on today's report, I am bringing you another one about Inam Dikanu. And this time, the Attorney General of the Federation of Kamalami has actually spoken up on why the federal government is keeping Inam Dikanu despite the court rulings. We know that um, an appeal court in Abuja actually discharged and acquitted um, Inam Dekanu of all charges against him by the federal government. And uh, we know that the federal government and the um, AGF actually said that the court only dismissed him on the rendition issues and that there were other charges the um, pre-rendition and that Inam Dekanu was going to face those pre-rendition issues. Now we know that um, the court asked Inam Dekanu to be released, but um, the federal government actually didn't agree to release him, but instead they went um, to the Supreme Court to actually ask the Supreme Court to annul the judgment of the appeal court. Well, um, Inam Dekanu's counsel actually filed a suit against them, and the federal high court, which was sitting in um, Umaya, actually ordered the federal government to actually release him and even return him back to Kenya because uh, they, they termed the, uh, uh, the abduction of as unlawful adoption of um, Inam De Kanu from Kenya to Nigeria and they all charges have been dropped against him and then the court has actually ordered the federal government to return the indigenous uh, people of Biafra leader back to Kenya from which he was actually um, abducted. Well, now this one, um, we have Malami actually now stating that there are reasons why the federal government is keeping Inam De Kanu. Well, let's go into the details of the report and see what the reasons are. Um, and it says, despite the court ruling asking Nigeria to return the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra to Kenya, and to pay him 500 million naira as compensation, the federal government is not inclined to free him based on several factors. The Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, has said. Malami told Vanguard in an exclusive interview on Thursday that the rendition of Inam Dikanu could not be used as the only basis to free the IPOB leader of other offenses allegedly committed by him against the federal government of Nigeria. The Justice Minister explained that the government was holding on to Kano on account of four major issues, which were preceded by the rendition matter for which the court cleared him. Malami said, to release or not to release Inam De Kano is a function of law and the rule of law for that matter. In arriving at a decision on whether to release or not release is one, you look at the rule of law. Two, you look at the public and the national interest. Three, you look at the security situation. Four, you look at international diplomacy. Let me talk first of the rule of law. This is someone that has been granted bail on account of charges that have been preferred against him at the court. Someone jumping bail to the international community. A case of a fugitive is established against the background of jumping the bail. Two, arising from the national security, this is someone that is charged with treason, incitement and destruction 
of civil authority, murder and assassination of others on account of its incitement. That boils down to issues of national security and criminality. Three, on account of international diplomacy. This is someone that has against his person used the international community or a foreign country to launch an attack against his nation, against his own nation for that matter. So all these naturally come into play to determine what to do. So if you have true judicial processes established multiple cases of treason, homicide, bail jumping, amongst others, the fact that you have indeed succeeded in one case as against multiple others that are pending goes to establish the fact that that case cannot be the only basis and criteria for determining whether you are entitled to be released or not. Well, that is it. We have more details um, coming later on this um, report. So that is it. Um, in, um, the, um, Malami has actually given us these reasons why um, Inam Dekanu has not yet been released um, by the federal government according to um, the, um, despite the court ruling that was given that it should be released. And um, it's, it's still the same thing they are holding on to, the issues pre-rendition. And uh, Malami is saying that um, the issue of rendition cannot be the only basis for which Inam Dikano has to be released. And that uh, he believes that um, other charges which were against him pre-rendition, like his jumping bill and running to an, an, um, another country, and uh, all those other charges, the treason charges against the federal government, all other charges which were being used against him actually have to be um, what, um, has, what they are holding on to. Now, let's take a few comments because um, Nigerians have actually been reacting to um, this issue of the federal government not releasing him even when the court has given an order. Now, this one says, lawmakers, lawbreakers, do what I say and not what I do. The same law insisted that ASU must obey court order before it could appeal to the appellate court order. Yet, the same federal government is obnoxiously disobeying the same court order without regret. What a country in Gigi in mind. Well, that is what this person is saying, that the lawmakers are the lawbreakers. The court has given a ruling and the federal government is actually supposed to follow that ruling, but... Well, they are not actually, and they are still holding on to Inamdi Kano. Well, until we come your way with more details of the report and with more details of um, recent happenings around the country, do well to take care and stay blessed. Bye-bye.